Well, good afternoon. In the last week, we got some more parts in for the 1968 Camaro project. The first things that we got are some B&M parts for the uh, pistol grip pro stick. Uh, the first item is a reverse light switch. Because, of course, even though you spend $400 on a shifter... The only thing that comes with it is the neutral safety switch. You do not get the reverse lights. And of course, the screws that come with the shifter to hold, to mount the um, neutral safety switch on are not long enough for the reverse light switch. So now I have to source some uh, inch long number 4 by 40 thread machine screws. And nuts and washers. You would think a $400 shifter would, would come with the reverse light switch also. And even if you had to buy the reverse light switch, you'd think it would come with the mounting hardware. But it is what it is, I guess. Now, the other thing I got for the shifter from B&M is I got this, what they call a side plate. I just call it a grip. But it... Um, it has a built-in momentary switch. You can use this for anything like uh, line lock, uh, nitrous, anything along that lines. Lock-up converter, anything. Uh, what I'm going to be using it for is a um, line lock. And basically all it does is you take these two Allen head bolts out and then... You just put that on there like that. And then you have your momentary switch for, in this case, will be the uh, the line lock. So that'll be handy to have. And then... And then what also came in is this low car throttle cable. It's uh, universal. So it's 24 inches long, so you cut the outer stainless, braided stainless um, casing to fit, and the inner wire you also cut to fit. Um, there, these are a pretty good cable. I've used these in the past. Uh, the Mustang had one on it. The only thing you have to be aware of is when you cut your inner cable to the proper length, uh, when when it goes on your threaded adjustment end, there's only two sets, two tiny set screws there that um, secure it onto the cable, and uh, you got to make sure you get them really snug. Um, we usually run a lot of uh, return spring pressure on our carburetors because uh, you definitely don't want a hung up throttle, and uh, so if it takes a lot of force to uh, actuate your, your throttle, whether it be throttle body or carburetor, you uh, don't want your cable to pull out of your adjuster. So that's that. And then this here, this is a really nice item. I've used these in the past before also. This is from ICT. This is a billet aluminum alternator bracket for a small block shiv. Now this is what they call, is what we call a mid mount. So it will mount on the motor like this. Uh, these two holes here go to your, the uh, uh, mounting bolts for your uh, water pump. In this case, this is built for designed for a electric water pump uh, you can make it to work with a short or a long regular water pump but in this but in my case even though it's a streetcar I will be running an electric water pump on, on the Camaro so these two like I said these two holes go to the mounting holes on the electric water pump and this one here goes to your accessory hole on the front of your cylinder head so it'll be mounted like that hanging down uh, and right of course here's your your adjustment to tighten your belt 
Um, these come in real handy because, as you know, when you spin a motor hard, like we we turn our motors here like eight grand minimum, and uh, spin them that hard, it's very easy to throw a V belt, and the shorter the belt the less chance you're going to throw it. And, as uh, Stevie D and a couple other GM guys know, um, the factory style, you have two brackets. You will have one lower bracket that would be similar to this. It would be cut off here and mount the same way. And then you'd have a flimsier upper mount that mounts to your water pump and the top uh, and a boss on your intake manifold now some of your um, street replacement like Eld Elderbrock uh, performer or performer RPM have that boss for the mount for the top alternator mount and uh, other ones like your high rises like your um, uh, Victor Jr. your Victor Super Victor, uh, darts, stuff like that do not have that. So when trying to run an alternator, it can be hard to uh, make that upper bra bracket work. But this here eliminates all that. And uh, it comes with the mounting hardware. So what you have is three bolts and three spacers. So you have a spacer that will go between the bracket and the water pump. And then the other spacer goes between, behind the alternator and the cylinder head. Um, you can cut these to fit. If you, have to, uh, if you have to move your alternator in, you can cut these down. Or you can shim them out with washers. Uh... Like I said, this is for an electric water pump. Now, if you use a regular water pump, you can make new spacers or cut these down or do whatever you have. But I really like these. They're, uh, they're nice aluminum. They're light. Uh, and actually, you do not even have to um, mount these to the water pump and cylinder head. On the Mustang, I've actually mounted this to my uh, front motor plate and I had it really close and just had like a really small belt so you could mount this onto your frame uh, anywhere but it is made for a GM alternator uh, not saying you couldn't use it on another one because uh, they do make other ones but this is for the GM now the next thing I got Is I got my gauges in that I told you all about last time. This is a direct. Let's see if I can get some glare off of that. Um, this is a direct drop-in insert for uh, 67 and 69. Sorry, 67 and 68 Camaro. Uh, the insert for 69 is different. Um, so what came with the kit was the insert itself uh, then you get a 3 and 3 8 electric speedometer 3 and 3 8 um, tachometer uh, and then the other gauges are all electric also and they're 2 and 16th you have a volt oil water and fuel level uh, this fuel level gauge is from 0 to 90 ohms, which works with a GM factory sending unit. Uh, it seems pretty well built. Um, I know people that have used them and are very happy with them. Um, as the uh, people on here that are friends with me on Facebook and have been following, uh, I was a little undecided on if I was going to go with the... Um, Sport comp gauges, which these are, with the black black uh, f uh, face with the white letters, numbers, or the white face with the black numbers. Uh, 
in actuality, I did like the uh, ultralight gauges, which were the uh, white back with black numbers. But I kind of felt it gave the uh, car too much of a modern look. Um, I think I feel that these uh, blend in more and it gives the car more of a uh, 80s and 90s retro look is what and that's what I'm kind of going with the theme on the car um, they come they come with a universal wiring harness that uh, you can modify to work into your uh, factory car har dash harness uh, it comes with uh, all the lighting and all the sending units um, oil pressure water temperature and the electric speedometer sensor speedo sensor it's a pretty good kit it's um it's quite pricey um if it wouldn't have been for uh, a really good deal that summit had on for black friday i probably would not have gotten this and would have went with the traditional uh, under dash three three gauge cluster but um, it was a really good deal, and I thought, well, it's going to free up spot underneath the dash for other things. And you only live once, and I'm trying to uh, build the car, the uh, take my time and build it the way I want, want it done and not cut corners. So I went, I went ahead and bought them. And um, I know it seems... Uh, that's taken a long time to uh, get the car back on the road, but things are pricey. I mean, for an example, I mean, for us here in Canada, our dollar really sucks. Um, we pay 33 cents on the dollar for exchange. Then you have duty, and luckily Summit now uh, ships to Canada free free shipping but you still have your duty and your taxes so when you look when you look this cluster up here uh, this is uh, just under a thousand dollars US at summit is what the sale price was um, to my door with the exchange rate um, the duty and the taxes, you're looking at thirteen hundred and twenty dollars just, just for that gauge cluster. And um, that's just one part of the car. I mean, so I know it seems like it's a long time building this car, but you know, it's things aren't cheap. I mean, that throttle cable, throttle cable. Well, so there you go. Thirteen hundred and twenty throttle cable. That was ninety-eight dollars. Um, alternator bracket. That was sixty-five. Uh, the neutral safety. I believe that was sixteen. Um, the side grip with the momentary button. That was um, just under a hundred dollars, like ninety-eight or ninety-nine. It came to. Uh, the shifter, four hundred dollars. Um, the fuel filters that I showed you last time, they're seventy dollars a piece. I mean, this is expensive. I mean, um, and uh, and the transmission. I mean, having that, buying the parts for that, and having that built. Um, there's a lot. I bought the car uh, back in 2000 and just updating it and getting it back on the road from sitting since 2000 I'm going to have as much probably more actually in the car than I did when I bought it 20 years ago. I mean that's just the difference in the price of things these days. But anyway. I got pretty much everything I need, and like I told you in the last update, I'm going to be uh, hauling the car out of storage and uh, 
marking all this stuff up plus sitting the motor in the uh, in the car and uh, hopefully the oil pans gonna fit it's highly doubted that it's going to but we'll have to work around that when the time comes and um, hopefully we'll have everything all mocked up and after that the only thing that will have to be done is uh, a wiring harness um, because so I'm going to rewire the whole the whole car. Um, not that the wiring is terrible in it, but it is 50 plus year old wiring, and in that in the last 50 years, it's been hacked up and tapped into and everything else. So you're going this far. What's another few dollars to uh, put a new wiring harness in it? So we got to do that. We have to freshen up the motor and buy a converter and exhaust and then that's pretty much it. I'm sure I'm missing some stuff, but hopefully I'll have it back on the, on the street and strip this summer. Um, if I don't, I don't. It is what it is. You can only do what you can do with the money you have and anyway... Uh, I'll let you all go for now, and I'll see you in a couple weeks when I haul the car out and um, start marking some stuff up. If I don't get talking to you all by then, hope you all have a very Merry Christmas, and stay safe. See you later. Bye.